Hello and welcome to my kitchen. This is Vicki Lynn Haycraft with realfoodliving.com and today I have a three-in-one slicer. If you've been reading my blog posts, you'll know that I love zoodles and squashetti. Yes, they're zucchini noodles and squash noodles and I make them with this, this slicer right here. This is the medium or the large grating blade. This also comes with a slicing blade and a smaller grating blade. And the really cool thing is they fit right inside this machine. So you don't have to look for them. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm always losing parts. Now it's really simple to use. Another really cool feature is that they have these suction cups right here and you just press down on your counter and it sucks it down to your counter so it doesn't slide anywhere. Then, take your squash or your zucchini. So here we are, we've loaded the zucchini, the yellow squash, you put it right on the edge here and it holds with these grippers right here. And all you do is put a little pressure on it while you turn the crank. And what comes out are lovely spaghetti type noodles or squashetti zoodles. Now I'm going to show you what to do with them just like I've been writing in the blog posts. They're so much fun to use and to eat if you're looking for a low carb pasta substitute or you just want some more veggies in your meals. These are beautiful, look. You can do this with potatoes and have curly fries. But these are my favorite for making pasta. So what do you do in the winter when there's no fresh squash or zucchini? Well, our next steps we're going to dehydrate, dehydrate them and rehydrate them. So come back and we'll show you what's next. Well, welcome back. I've squashettied and I've zoodled several yellow squash. And so I've filled up a dehydrator tray. Now because they're long and they're curly, I don't want to overcrowd them. If you'll notice this right here, this is the core and just the tip end. And this usually contains the seeds. This is great just to chop up and dehydrate or chop up and use in your recipes. So I'm gonna take this to the dehydrator. I don't need to put anything on it. I'm just gonna dehydrate it at 115 degrees until they're completely dry. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. And welcome back to my kitchen. The squash eddy has come out of the dehydrator and you can see they're just a fraction of their original size. They're crispy and crunchy and they make great squashetti. Now to be able to store these, I'm going to put these in a clean and sanitized. I would recommend that you sterilize. I do sterilize all my jars in the dishwasher and put them all your squashetti in these jars. Now if you want to leave them long so that you can twirl them, I recommend that you not break them up. Just whatever you need to do to get into the jar. They're nice and airy and they're really neat feeling. Like little bird nests. Fill up your jar and then vacuum seal your jar. I would not leave these at room temperature. Then if you have the Excalibur like I do, or you have flexible sheets, you simply fill it up this way, nice and light without crushing them. And then I'm going to vacuum seal these with my Weston vacuum sealer, and I'll do several more. And then I have this sheet ready to go with the next ones. Now I want to show you the difference between the dried, see, they snap. And then these are the fresh ones that are cooked. You see the texture? They just really do look like spaghetti and they, to me, feel like spaghetti. Now what we're going to do is rehydrate the dried ones and I'll compare the difference between the fresh cooked and the rehydrated. So we'll be back again. And welcome back. This is Vicki Lynn with RealFoodLiving.com and what I'm going to do is rehydrate our dehydrated squashetti and zoodles. Now if you notice I've put them in a smaller jar and that's because there's a lot of noodles in here even though they're dried and they're airy and they're not taking up much room. If you have a small family you don't want a big jar like this because then you have to use it all up. 
So use your smaller jars. This is a quart or you can use a pint, however much you think your family's going to use. And I do use the wide mouth because it's easier to get in without breaking. Now see they're all kind of bird nesty and airy. And all we do is pour boiling water over top of them. And I just do it to cover. I just want to make sure that everything's in the boiling water. Now if you're going to be putting them in a stew or a soup, you can definitely use broth or sauce or anything liquid. And then I want to cover this so that the steam stays inside. And we'll be back in 15 minutes and I'll show you the texture of the rehydrated zoodles and squashetti. And here we are after 15 minutes in the boiling water. Now you can see it's perfectly acceptable. They have been rehydrated and they're plump, but they're not quite as plump as freshly zoodled and then steamed or sauteed. So let's wait another 15 minutes and see if we can get any changes. So we'll be back in another 15. Welcome back. It's been 30 minutes and you can see that the squashetti noodles have rehydrated. They're no longer thin, they're no longer crispy, they're no longer dry, they're plump and soft. They've got a good mouthfeel, just like spaghetti to me. I really like the fact that I can dehydrate squash or zucchini and put them in jars for the winter time when I'm wanting some pasta and I don't really want to have any grain-based pasta. I really like the fact that I can get zucchini or squash and make some vegetable noodles. Now let me show you the difference between the fresh zoodled and steamed and the dehydrated and rehydrated. They're both plump, they both have good color, I didn't add anything to either one of them, but the rehydrated is not quite as plump. So I don't want you to be disappointed if it doesn't dehydrate exactly to the same consistency, but it's very close. So I think as a good um, a good way to put in my pantry some great summer squash and great summer zucchini so that I can have this all year round. I think this is a great solution. So thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. This is Vicki Lynn Haycraft with Real Food Living signing out and I hope you have some great squashetti or zoodles today. <laughs>